I'm sure now when you look at this word here in the part one, you know you have to take your calculator and solve it up. Absolutely, you can solve all these problems again using your calculator. You don't need to do huge, uh, you know, use substitution or integration by parts. But in fact, these are generally done by use substitutions. You have to strategically choose the U values. You have to use Pythagorean identities and solve it up. But now here, what I'll do is I'll just show you the calculator method again. First, assume a x value. Since it's sine, cosine, it's all fine. No inverse, no square root. So you can choose any x value. And please use radian mode. Now I'll type it out. It is cosine. I'll take x as 1.5. When you're typing the question, you need to write x value directly and to the power 3. It's powered outside. Multiply it with sine 1.5 to the power 4. And here now we get this value. You need to write it out somewhere because you, I'm sure you might not be able to remember the entire thing. So it's 3.505 into 10 to the power minus 4. Now next what you do is you need to look into the, all the four options and you need to press shift d by dx and type the options as it is. It takes a bit of time but it you know you don't need to remember any rules it's just putting in the calculator and you get the answer. So here you need to put a variable as it is as x don't substitute 1.5 1.5 substituted outside here not inside the d by dx okay. Now this must be powered up to 5 and over here you have option uh, divided by 5 itself minus over here you have sine x close the bracket and then power it up to 7 divided by 7. That's it. We don't put plus c and let's compare and this matches. If you had a simple change now I'm sure some of the option one of the option might be plus. Let's try plus and over here the answer is different. Only this one particular answer matches this particular value and that's your correct answer. Same thing is done to all the other problems. Now over here, don't go to the method which I just now told you because the limits are given. And if limits are given, you get a constant value. So you cannot derive this. Only when you have x variables like this, you know, see like uh, answers in terms of sine x or something like that. Like the options we had just a while ago in the previous problem. Such problems can be solved with the method I just now told you. When you have limits, please use integral, this symbol over here. Type it out, cosine 3x. Now x as variable, then cube it up because it's power 3. Multiply it with sine 3x, that is alpha x, close the bracket, and to the power again 3. And then over here, you just press pi divided by 4 and up above is pi by 3 shift pi divided by 3 and press equal to the answer is negative 1 by 72 now sometimes you might get it as a, a fraction uh, sorry decimal you won't get it like this as fractions no worries write this answer down it's 0 0.1338 try pressing sd if it shows you then that's correct otherwise write the answer and then check all the four options now solve it up, 1 divided by 72 will be the same answer. Obviously it will be same because we did ST for that. So this is how we can do it. So that's how we solve these problems. Definite integrals are very easy to solve. And that's how easily you can solve all these type of problems. And that's the end of question 13.